All right, welcome freaking back, everybody. Today, we're going over a Smith & Wesson M&P OR spec. Before we get into that, though, our plugs. One, we're a real estate company. You need real estate help? Let us know. We're talking actual real estate help, not some bunker in the middle of nowhere and some fantasy bullshit, okay? You need to buy or sell a residential house? We're your boys. Utah, Arizona, we got affiliates all over. Ammo for this review, U.S. Brass House. Mm -hmm. Our boys over there, 1911 and syndicate two codes at checkout get you 40 bucks off your case of ammo which nowadays is going to be a hot commodity it's already starting to sell quite a bit so mm. uh did we have one more plug oh yeah just uh you know oh we, merch we got some merch in. I, I don't know how the inventory will be doing when, when by the time this comes out but i hope when this comes out we're sold out i mean that would be great yeah. so but if not get on our website order some shirts uh we got patreon if you want to just give us your money also you can do that it's the best way. Yeah. I mean, just literally give it to us. Yeah. But, you know, that's how we keep the lights on, guys. So if you want to, like, keep consuming free content, support in some way. Okay? Which I guess would make it then not free, but you get what I'm saying. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm cool. Cool. So, concept behind this video. Jake and I were just kind of shooting the shit one day on a, on a phone call, planning out content, and you would kind of brought up the idea, like, what about... Since you were a hardcore Glock guy, polymer pistol, you've now gone staccato for probably dang near a year yeah. now. What about if we revisited polymer guns, but not a Glock? And I was like, damn it, Jake, you're kind of onto something there. Well, I'm a, gen I'm a genius. I, well, I don't know about that. But we got, you know, Walthers, we got FNs, we got SIGs, we got Smiths, right? I immediately jumped to a Smith because I was a hater of them for a long time. Hmm. I'd shot some in the past and just like, yeah. Okay. I mean, it was cool. Not, this is at the height of my Glock days. So uh, it was really hard to be impartial. Yeah. But also the dudes that introduced me to Smiths were all kind of FUDs. Mm -hmm. So that also added to it. Okay. Right. Um, I got a couple buddies like a uh, Hunter that's a professional shooter. Like he gets paid to shoot. All he runs is M&Ps. Okay. And I'm like, damn, that dude can shoot. He also puts a lot of rounds through a gun, which would kind of, go into the reliability side for me, right? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like if you're a competition shooter, even if you're making your own loads or not making your own loads, like if you don't have malfunctions and you trust it enough to compete with it, it's probably a fairly reliable gun. Yeah. So uh, even to the point where like reliability wise, our sheriff's department in Phoenix gets issued M&Ps now. Dope. So pretty reliable from what I would gather. I've had two or three M&Ps. No issues? No. Okay. Nope. So this was, this is kind of a special edition, the optics ready spec. So it came in this hard case with a knife, a fixed blade knife, a challenge coin, and two mags. Now I did buy this used and it only came with one mag and no sights if you see. <laughs> so I do. Originally it'll come with suppressor height sights, but uh, apparently the previous owner wanted the sights. So they took them. <laughs> Kind of, right? Kind of a human being does that. Yeah. Well, the shop was like, hey, dude, bring the gun in. We'll throw suppressor sights on it for you. Our cost. Like, we'll, we'll take care of it. Okay. I threw the red dot on, like, the following day and went and started training with it. I'd have to take it off again to put sights on. Sure. And I just refused to. Like, I'm already shooting it. It's already zeroed. Let's just keep this going. Yeah. Right? No, it doesn't make it look any better. No, aesthetically, people like suppressor height sights, right? Yes. And I was waiting for you to give me shit about this. No sights or suppressor height sights? No sights. Yeah, I mean, it, it's not attractive. Okay. Now, some dudes on the internet are going to be like, you need iron sights in case your dot goes down. And okay. they say it that way, too. Just like that. Yeah. Yeah. Now, we did some content. I, I researched the shit out of this because I prepared an argument just to argue against you. Litigate your case. Yeah, litigate my case. We did some content with a guy named Jason Beefley. Mm -hmm. Kind of a historic career in the military and yeah he just did some cool stuff and uh when he was out here if you guys want to go back to that and i even screenshotted photos of it to cut in for crispy his pistol when he was training with us has a red dot and no iron sights yeah so you know what if he's gonna run it that way by golly so am i okay cool guy cool yeah not because i'm a cool guy but if a cool guy is okay running a gun without iron sights i play dress up it's gonna be just fine Okay. See what I'm saying? I see where see you're the argument? I could, see the I, argument? Could, I could beat your argument in a moment, but yeah. I'm not gonna, because it's your video and I'm not gonna shit in your parade <laughs> like a horse just taking a steaming dump in the middle of your video. 
So what's different about the OR? So optics cut, obviously. Optics ready. Now, mm -hmm. this is a point of contention. So it comes with plastic mounting plates, okay? That's what everyone says. I talked to Hunter, and I've talked to a couple other people. No, sorry, Hunter uses CNH Precision. That's what usually people tell you to go yes. with. Yeah. A couple other people I know that run Smiths just run the stock plates. And I purposefully ran the stock plates as a like research point. Yeah, see if it fail. Yes, exactly. So yeah. they are plastic. I did you know a little, little dab of Loctite on there. It hasn't had an issue yet. And we're at, after today, right around 850 rounds. Okay. Okay. Gun comes, the biggest difference for me on this too, which is kind of cool, is I've been running a Scotto for a while, going back to a Palmer gun. In a holster, it feels like I don't even have a sidearm because <laughs> the sure. weight difference, right? Sure. Uh, that gun comes in at 27.2 ounces. This is a non-safety version. You have seven and a half inch overall length with a 4.6 inch barrel. The twist rate on the barrel is right hand. Uh, it's one, one in 10 twist rate. Um, there is a safety so that everyone knows that. Not a manual safety. Correct. Yeah, there is a trigger yeah. safety, but the exterior safety, you're right. Yeah. My bad. Yeah. Some Smiths come with the exterior thumb safety, almost like a 1911. Mm -hmm. This model does not. It's yeah. just the trigger safety that's built in as well as the drop safeties in the pistol. Yep. So when you depress that trigger, that first little arm there is taking yep. off. That's all that's happening is that little safety is coming off. Way too small yep. to see on camera, but... And a bunch it. of people, when I told them I bought this, were like, oh, dude, you got to throw in this trigger. You got to throw in this trigger. I eventually probably will upgrade the trigger, but for this review, I wanted to run the gun as stock as I could. Okay? But I probably will throw in an Apex trigger because that's what everyone yeah, that money. shoots Smith says. Um, the finish on this. You going to talk trigger for a sec? Are you talking more on the trigger? No, no do I need to? Well, I'm just, I, you know, the, the only thing to me that's, that's with these triggers is like, it's a ton of take up. Okay. It's I'll give you a, that. It's a it's a lot of take up. Which one. supposedly that other Apex takes up a takes lot. away all the take up. Yeah, so I had yeah. I I was not a fan of it, but I had a um well there's more to it, but we're not gonna go into it. But I had an agency uh, arms used to customize MPs and um that was the best striker fire trigger I've ever felt and it wasn't comparable. Okay. Like like by a by a wide margin, the best. Okay. And, and there was no take of it. I mean, it was like a single, single stage precision trigger. I mean, it was crazy. These stock ones, the actual pull, once you hit the brake, is actually quite nice. Um, the take up is is quite a bit. And then the reset is, reset's not bad. No, a little it bit goes of over straight, a little yeah. over travel straight to a wall and then clean brake again. Yeah. So anything else? A lot better than a stock Glock trigger though. Thousand percent. Yeah. Yep. Um, the finish. So there's a Smith & Wesson forum that I got on because some of these forums, the way that I do research for guns is I want to hear what other people have to say as well as talk to manufacturers. I didn't talk to the manufacturer on this gun. I just went on forums and talked to all my buddies that shoot Smiths. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the finish is called Armonite on the barrel and it's a nitro carburized finish um, similar to Melanite is what this forum said. Okay. Now, the only reason they knew this on the forum because no one could find some of the finishes for this stuff in like any of the Smith manuals is it's the same finish. You know, Smith & Wesson M&P 1522s, their ARs and 22 LR, their barrels are finished in this same finish. And okay. like some dudes on this forum made the connection. God, people got too much time on their hands, man. <laughs> Dude, this forum was pages and pages on it. And I'm like, bro, I need it. Cliff notes. You, you guys so, need a woman or something something but that finish Hooker. is extremely corrosion resistant greatly improves wear resistance decreased surface roughness reduces light reflection and increases su surface lubricity yeah okay lubricity is so desired used on many of their products as as well as some internal parts depending on the gun so um that's all i had to say about that so we're moving on um so the first trip to the range with this, um, what I've been doing is when I'm reviewing guns or like doing write-ups on guns, is I review many of the drills that we've done on the channel. Okay. So my first range trip, I just did five, five mags. I have five mags for this. They're 17 round mags, okay? It came with one, I bought four, we got five total. Metal mags. Metal mags. I've had zero malfunctions at all with this gun yeah. right out the gate. But my first range trip, I did five fully loaded mags of 17 rounds of just presentation. And I kind of ramped up speed as I got more comfortable, kind of dropped it back as I started getting a little squirrely with it. The next drill I did was uh, the Bear Solutions cold start drill, three mags, 
10 rounds each, you know, five, five, and then you do your reload, so 13 rounds. Sure, so I did that. Um, did a couple other like full five or five mags with 17 rounds in it, running drills like uh, some throttle control drills, stuff like that. Like really mixing up the drills, pushing the pace of the gun, seeing how I like it. Sure. Um, did that for most of my range trips. Totaling before today, I had 719 rounds through this gun. And I purposefully tracked rounds because sometimes it sounds like my round counts are off. And you're like, hey, that sounds a little higher. It sounds I a little low. I get for it. I don't think yeah. anyone else does. I do. No, I understand. But I do want to portray to people like we do, me specifically, I know you do too. Like I shoot these guns. Like it's not, yeah. like we spend a lot of our own time outside of filming shooting these guns. So I feel a little qualified to give some example on this. Because yeah. I have damn near almost a thousand rounds on this gun. Yeah, which is plenty to know plenty. what you think. And plenty. Yeah. So final thoughts on this. I am completely happy when we have a gun that we shoot and we're both maybe a little impartial towards it or like, yeah, we don't know about this. And it surprises us. Man, I have said forever I should have gone to Staccato earlier. We were talking about this today or yesterday. If I were to stick with Palmer guns, I should have gone to Smith earlier. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. The grip angle, the trigger. I mean, everything about a Smith presents better, shoots better than a Glock. Yeah. Like, I mean, look, Glock still has, I, I would certainly assume, I don't know the numbers, the, the largest market share of um, polymer sales. Is it the best, though? No, I don't think so. It, like, what does it do well? It's inexpensive, and it... It very reliable. reliably yeah. works, and it has a shit ton of aftermarket support. Yeah. Well, the only reason we need a whole lot of aftermarket support is because out of the box, it's like, you know, they well, it works, but it's like it leaves a lot to the, you know, to be, be desired. desired and right? It's like you yeah. know, there, there's a lot of other companies that out of the box, I mean, I think between Walther PDP, the BP9, um, those, I mean, crush a Glock out of the box. Yeah. And they're perfectly reliable, and it's like yep. this is reliable, and it's better out of the box. Yours happens to, for whatever reason, can I be honest? Go ahead. Like, it, it just, it's just so ugly to me, this particular setup. <laughs> I don't know why, but it just, it, I find this to be very ugly. Why? Um, what I, about this it? TLR is bothering me, and, and now I've figured out that it strobes, and I'm like, oh. It, and the no sights in this color, it's like what's well, not tan, it's not FDE, it's just like watered, Baby poop brown. watered down poop and like this threaded barrel that's further out than I would like. I'm like, look, this works well. It works well. It shoots good. Aesthetically, you're just not Aesthetically, a fan. Aesthetically, it's hideous. So reason why I was excited for the threaded barrel, and I guess I forgot to mention that. Obviously, people could see it's a fucking threaded barrel, people. Um, is I suppress this often for my other job yeah so yeah. i've shot it probably 50 rounds suppress with no issues either yeah not oh, that anyone good. cares but yeah um i get it it's not your thing i think it's a good but. gun and like i said i've bought multiple mps for some reason your mp bothers me <laughs> and i can't tell you why but i just find it ugly with the no sights and it's just like... i left on the normal back strap that it came with too yeah. i think it's perfectly fine but um one thing I will this mention. This is like when, when someone insults your, your newborn baby and you're just like, yeah. my baby's awesome. And everyone else is like, I don't know, dude, pretty ugly. Like Your baby's ugly and he's kind of a dick. Yeah, and it cries all this shits itself. And Well, know. this isn't a dick, just kind of ugly. Yeah, Look, I we, agree. We give you a pass, homie. It's a good kid. It's a good kid. It's just an ugly kid. Just an ugly kid. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. I threw a TLRR on here because I didn't feel like dropping the money on a... Sh uh, yeah. Yeah. What are they called? Surefire? Yeah. Jeez, yeah. I had a stroke. Sorry. Yeah, definitely. Uh, um, Alzheimer's. Uh, well, I was thinking there, yeah. to fit in my Safari Land holster. So the Safari Land holster I got for this runs an X300 and a TLR. Yeah. All my other X300s are on guns. Yeah. I don't want to take them off. Yeah. This was in a drawer. It is tan, so it matched. It fucking works, Jake. Look, I, I don't think less of you because of this. We've all had a moment in life where we, you know where we banged an ugly chick, and you, you have just decided that this is your I've moment. never banged an ugly chick. I didn't say everyone. Okay, how I, dare I, you. I did say everyone, but how I would. Dare I you. exclude you. I exclude you. But I know those guys <laughs> behind the camera. They've had their day. I know you have. Jake's, I know you have. Crispy's a virgin, dude. I know you have. What did you just I'll, say? I'll go older sometimes. Yeah. I've got questions about, we'll talk in the Did you call later. it hogging? Just Jesus Christ. All right, on that note. To all the families at home. Sorry, Dad. 
watching the show, we really do apologize. And every time we film, we do our best to bring you the best fun-filled family show that we can. And sometimes we miss the mark. <laughs> and today might have been one of them, and we apologize. Which, speaking of which, I do have to give a shout out to is not the time to be bringing up a particular female. I just remembered I was supposed to shout someone out, so let's cut that out. This has been a long day. Where, Where do we need to pick up? Your rant about how ugly the gun is? No, we're not cutting that. That one's staying in. No, I'm saying post that. So, okay, so the gun's ugly, Jake. Yes. Okay, so let me get back to one thing I failed to mention, my bad. The texture on this gun. It's grippy. It's perfect. Yeah. Why all Palmer guns don't come with this type of texture? is a travesty yeah. but the texture is great to the point where it might be a little aggressive it's pretty aggressive once it's kind of worn in i know i got some skin in there once on your, it's i was gonna say on your belly if you were like appendix carrying that with no undershirt you can be rubbing some some fur off that belly you you're know? gonna be getting a little bald spot on that belly of yours right i was wearing undershirt so it's a non-issue for me yeah but um i do plan on shooting this a little bit more and i may even venture to carry it so, word yeah uh, throw an apex in there, and then uh, who knows? Maybe we'll do a follow-up video in a couple months. But again, no. the premise of this. No, but yeah, it, it's a nice thought though. But no, <laughs> we're done. We're done with that one. Are you done with today? <laughs> no, I'm perfectly happy right now. <laughs> Just more fun when everyone's talking shit to each other. Ah, uh, so good. I've been happy with it though. I'm pleasantly surprised to have my opinion changed on it, and uh, look forward to shooting it more. Great. Cool. Are we done, Jake? I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. You just ready to be done with today? I'm, I'm, I'm happy. We're going to go get food and everyone's going to get hammered tonight and find some, find some hoes out on the town. <laughs> find some hogs. Let's go hogging. <laughs> <laughs>